the quail fire in Solano County, forcing mandatory evacuations earlier today as flames tore through well over 100 acres in a very short amount of time. Tonight, crews making good progress after a very scary situation for those living in the fire's path. Thanks for joining us for Fox 40 News at 10. I'm Eric Rucker. Evacuation orders that were in place for people on Pleasance Valley Road from Quail Canyon Road north to Highway 128 and west of Pleasance Valley Road to the county line have been reduced to evacuation warnings tonight. Fire officials are saying so far 135 acres have burned and that fire is 45% contained. We have team coverage of this fire. Dennis Shanahan is in the Weather Center tracking the conditions today, tonight, and for the rest of the weekend. But we start with Fox 40's Garsh Paul Sanga, who has been reporting on the quail fire all evening long. Garsh Paul, give us an update. Eric, things are looking a lot better here in the Solano County, Yolo County area. We're about a four miles away from where that fire began, but there's not a lot of cell service in that area. But right now, things are looking a lot better. We're not seeing a lot of hot spots in the area. And the, those you mentioned, those mandatory evacuation orders have been downgraded. But for, for many people living in this area, wildfires, they're used to it by now. For Nathan Hardy and his family, it's deja vu. Just kind of, kind of used to it. Another wildfire. Helicopters using his pond to slow down the quail fire. I've seen quite a bit of action. The retired firefighter with the San Francisco Fire Department is one of many residents along Quail Canyon Road in rural northern Solano County, facing mandatory evacuations from the fire, but deciding to stay. The only thing that really, you know, saved us was the fact that we keep all the things cleared away from our buildings. Others, not so much. It was all hands on deck for fire crews Saturday afternoon to slow the spread of the fire fueled by light grasses and winds. With each drop, fire crews trying to get the upper hand on the flames before the winds shifted. Same old thing. And for many people living in this canyon, it's the same old thing. I through this in 2020. Two years ago, many of these homeowners went through the destructive LNU Lightning Complex fire in summer of 2020, and it took a few months to put out. The difference is in 2020, all the fire crews were being used all over the state, and we didn't get any help here. This time, it's a different story, and crews using every resource to slow the blades. But I'm glad if it helps save people's homes, I don't care. And so things are looking a lot better here tonight, and uh, we haven't heard of any uh, damage or property destructions, but as soon as we find out that information or you know, if that, that didn't happen, we'll make sure to pass along. But exactly how this fire started, that is still under investigation. Reporting live near Solano County, I'm Garge Paul Sunga, Fox 40 News.